Hey y'all, I'm Tracy and welcome to Just Dig It Farms. Today I'm going to be working on planting some of my containers. I've got these two big pots here. I've got some window boxes on the porch and a few other uh, containers throughout the gardens that I'm going to be working on planting. So I just want to bring you guys along with me. But first you guys have got to check out this Peggy Martin. Look at her. She is beautiful. This has been a bad year for black spot. We had a lot of rain and I've got a lot of black spot on my roses, but she's still showing out. Isn't it beautiful? I just love this rose. Now Peggy Martin has a story. She survived Hurricane Katrina under salt water for weeks and still thrived and survived. So she has an awesome story. It is semi thornless and um, it's a repeat bloomer. So she blooms beautifully in the spring and then you'll get a few blooms here and there in the summer and then the fall, it's another wonderful show. So I chose to put Peggy here on my, by my storage building. This is where we park the golf cart and I chose to put it here and I love her here. The very first video that I made for our YouTube channel was about Peggy Martin. So I'm gonna link that video here for you if you wanna go back and watch it and find out all kinds of very interesting information about Peggy Martin. I'll link the video here, but y'all give me some grace. It was my very first video. <laughs> the first two containers that I'm gonna be planting are here at my storage building. And I've got my thriller here, and this is a Blue Point Juniper. So this is my thriller for the pots. And for my filler and my spiller in my container, I'm using these cascading vincas because they'll fill up the pot and they'll spill over the pot. And they do so good here in central Alabama in the summertime. It doesn't matter how hot they get, they just keep on blooming and showing out and I love that. So this is what my containers are gonna be here by my storage building. I did a video with y'all last year planting my containers and I shared with y'all then my little recipe for how to plan up beautiful, gorgeous containers. And I got this from my friend Lacey Neely at Petals from the Past. She does all the container um, gardens and designs there. She even teaches a class there about container gardening. And I picked up this little tip from her. When you're planting a container, you wanna have a thriller and that's your tall centerpiece that's just gonna make a bold statement. And then you want a filler, so this, for me, in these pots, the vinca is gonna fill up my pot, and then you want a spiller, so this one's also, it's gonna act as both. It's gonna fill up the pot, and it's gonna spill over the pot. Now, I've got some other containers that I'm gonna do a little bit different. So, like my window boxes, this little dwarf English boxwood is gonna be my thriller, and these sun patients here are gonna be my fillers, and then these purple dragon lamians are gonna be my spillers. Isn't that gonna be beautiful in those window boxes? So you can do all kinds of different things and you don't necessarily have to have a thriller or a spiller, but this just makes a beautiful container that makes an awesome statement. So let's plant these two containers together first. Y'all look at this beautiful little rose. Isn't that sweet? Look at the buds. This is a little drift rose. Knockout makes drift roses. And I believe this one is apricot. It didn't have a tag when I got it, but I'm pretty sure it's apricot. There's all different kinds of beautiful little knockout drift roses. There's red ones, pink, white, all different colors. And um, I just love them because they only get about two feet tall and they spread to about two and a half, sometimes three feet wide. And they're just beautiful. They always fit a good little spot. All right, so my Blue Point Juniper, my thriller, I'm gonna kind of put it to the back a little bit of my pot instead of the center because I wanna fill up the whole center 
with those uh, cascading vincas. Now we'll put our vincas in here. They spread really well. So it's gonna look kind of empty right now, but it'll spread out and be full before long. Ones I'm using is the Cora Cascade Punch. This one is Punch, and this one is the Apricot. I'm just gonna alternate these. We got those done. Now let's go do the window boxes on the porch. Y'all, we had the best weekend. This past weekend was our YouTubers meet and greet at Petals from the Past. Um, they have an Antiques in the Garden event every year. And last year we joined them for the first time for our YouTubers meet and greet. And this year was our second time to be involved with it. And we had our YouTubers meet and greet. It was wonderful it was so much fun we met so many wonderful people at this event it was amazing i wish i could name all of the people that we got to meet because they were just everybody was just so precious and we're just so thankful that we got to meet all of you who got to come and we had a blast with all of our friends that are youtubers jason and brooke with cog hill was there uh zach and jacqueline head with head family farm um, let me think. It's Nick and Zoe with Chestnut Hills Farms. Uh, Wes and Angie with Big Family Small Farm. Uh, Wendy and Alan with A&W Mini Farm. Danette and Stumpy and Denise and Eric and Jace and Lauren and Erica and Anthony and the two boys, the whole, and their mother, the whole gang from Para Hill Farms was there. And Rob and Deb with Finally Home in Bama. And they also have Brown Thumb Nursery YouTube channel. And they have a third YouTube channel called Cast Iron Keto. Shane and Judy Sneed with Sneed's Farmhouse was there. Holly with Simply Lake and Lace was there, and Kayla Friday with Little Cahaba Junkin. Some other YouTube channels showed up at the event and we got to spend the day with, some of which are already our friends, but some we have never met before and we got to meet them, like Our Brown Farmhouse and um, RNL Homestead, David the Good, we've never met him. But we were excited to uh, get to see other YouTubers there. And we hope that some of these are going to be at our event in the fall. It was just so much fun, y'all. We had a blast. The event was awesome. The Antiques in the Garden event was awesome. The vendors are amazing. My best friend Holly had a booth set up there and she did so good. Her daughter makes these cute little vintage hair clips and she makes all kinds of salves and Holly makes amazing baked goods. So good. She makes peanut butter cookies with our honey instead of sugar and she calls them just dig it cookies. I love that. She sold out of those in a hurry. So it is just awesome. It's such a fun, fun day. Friday before the event, I went to Petals and spent half of the day and was just there to get things set up for our part of the event, the YouTubers meet and greet, and Zoe and Mackenzie and Farmerette came and helped and we got things set up and uh, kind of walked around together. Little Rhett is just the cutest little thing. He told me Saturday at the event, he said, you're just the best. <laughs> He's so cute, so smart. Him and Eleanor and all these homesteader kids are just so super smart. Judy and Danette and Stumpy and Jason Lauren came Friday and got their stuff set up and we just had a really good time just hanging out with each other and I had fun enjoying the event a little bit. I got to walk around and see some of the vendors. I usually don't get to go see the vendors because I've always worked the event. So I got to walk around and visit some of the vendors. My friend Laura was Simply Making It and Spencer Farms was there and I picked up some soap from her. I just love her, she's so precious. 
Pop and Mom got to come for a good bit of the day and they got to meet a lot of y'all and talk to a lot of y'all. My mom and sister-in-law, Mary Beth, and my sweet little nephew, Ethan, and Mary Beth's mom came up there to see me. I didn't get to spend much time with them, but any chance that I get to spend with my little nephew, I just love it. So it was fun that they came. Some of you drove from Oregon and Illinois and Florida and oh my gosh, I don't know, all over the place to see us. Us. and we are just so grateful for each and every single one of you we enjoyed so much just getting to talk to you and hang out with you a little bit and getting to meet you all it was wonderful so thank you so much for each one of you that came out to meet us and for those of you who didn't get to come i want to share a little snippet right here with y'all of our day and what it was like and how much fun it was so that you can enjoy it as well we're going to be doing another event like this in September, September 9th, and hopefully y'all can go ahead and plan to come out and meet us then and spend the day with us. It'd be awesome. There's going to be a lot of other YouTubers involved in this event as well. So here's just a little bit of what our day was like Saturday. Hey y'all, it's Saturday and I'm at Petals from the Past. This is the Antiques in the Garden event and we are all down here set up for our YouTubers meet and greet. It's gonna be so much fun. We cannot wait to meet all of you who are gonna to get to come out here today. Here's our little place where we're gonna be and we're giving away 10 jars of Just Dig It Farms honey. So that's gonna be fun to do that. And let's see, this is Cog Hill. I think they're shopping. They're probably shopping. And Chestnut Hills Farm, Chestnut Hi. Hills Farm is here. Yep. All right, what you got? Oh, I got some chocolate chip cookies oh, and Lord. cheese crackers. Oh Lord. And stickers <laughs> and just all kind of goodies. Awesome. And this is Allison. And she is, her and her husband, Alan, mm -hmm. are here to be Cog Squad's people today. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a good time. Yes, we are. Here's Jacqueline. Hey, good morning. Hi. Here's your, I have a bunch of these my QR code? Yeah, I have awesome. a bunch. I'll leave them at your table. Thank you very much, ma'am. Give me a hug. Here's Miss Judy. <laughs> Hello! And Mackenzie. <laughs> Excited to be here. It's going to be a fun, fun day. It is going to be a fun, fun day. Fun day. Look at all this. My gosh, she brought fun stuff. Combuck. Wow. Hey, hey, how are you? I am good. How are you doing? Judy's book. That's good. Very cool. Were you here last year? Just visiting. Okay. Yeah. And here's Deb. Hey! Hey, everybody! <laughs> Fun stuff. This is going to be a great day, isn't it? It is. I know. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, look who's arriving. Look who's here. <laughs> and look who's coming there. Hello. Where is Jean? Jean is getting chairs for us and bringing them down here. We're expecting a show from y'all today. A show. A show. We would like for you and Jean and Jace and Jason and whoever else wants to join to sing us a good little song. Maybe Jean can. couldn't care too. Jean. I need to do some video myself. I know, I'm trying to just get a few yeah, little quick clips. Probably, we had 16, 16 acres total that had to be cleared. So there was 16 acres that had to be cleared. So there was um, two acres that was already cleared. Where's, the, where's the fam at? So the girls are on their way. They're coming with the grandparents. Okay, parents. okay. Yep. All and right, then, cool. Um, Angie's ordering food. That's important. Yeah, that's why I said I'm going to back there. Hey, everybody. Yeah, they were so nice. Ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're at Petals from the Past. <laughs> yeah, it's a little meta there. <laughs> Don't worry, I got your best side. Oh, there goes Jason. Jason running. 
Y'all having a good time? Having a blast. Oh man, this is awesome. <laughs> good. Yes. Meeting yep. some fans? Yeah. Yep. Followers? Good. Yep. Good. They're coming from all over down here. I know, it's cool, isn't yeah. it? It is. It's coming really from neat. everywhere. Yep. Oh. Love it. I love it, love it. Well, this is Angie's mom and dad. Right. <laughs> I've been hearing all about their potage garden. Super cool. I'm, I haven't seen the video yet, but I'm going to have to go back and check it out. So I'm going to put a link to that video in here. So everybody can go check out y'all's well, garden. Please, please. I need all of your information. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just the circle of men. Something like that. Circle of men. The circle of men. It man. was. <laughs> <laughs> Until some food. chick showed yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> hey girls. How's it going? Hey, good. Y'all having fun? We yes. Are. Chit chatting, having a good time. Meeting yeah. fans and Meeting followers and beautiful people. Yes. Yeah. From all over the place. From everywhere. We have one from yep. Oregon. No, Oregon. 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 Illinois. 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 North Carolina. Yeah. Florida. Florida. Georgia. 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 Uh, Mississippi. Tennessee. We're going to name them all. Louisiana. <laughs> Yeah, but the Oregon one, I was blown away. It's like, we flew in yesterday. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Crazy, yeah. isn't it? It is. I love it. I love to get to meet everybody. What's happening over here? There's my friend. There's my friend. Man, y'all got a whole, y'all look like you got a whole living room set up over here. <laughs> Having a good time? Good. Great time. I love meeting everybody. How's it going, Judy? Hey, I'm so excited. Are you? It's been fun, hasn't it? Yeah. I had uh, some ladies come up and tell us they had your book. And they said she just jumped right out there and started reading her book to us. I think y'all were saying, I'm like, you look like you need some answer. Yeah, let me read this I said, book. Let me just read you my stuff. I've done it twice. I'm trying to entertain them. Entertain them. That's awesome. That's <laughs> Look who showed up. Mom. Hey. Mary Beth. My little buddy. Turn around here. Pop and Papa Mom's been here hanging out with everybody. Yeah, I, I and Miss Sue, hey. Miss Sue just comes to see us everywhere we go, don't you? Right. <laughs> the best people, why not? <laughs> How's it going? Are y'all good? We're good. Good. We're hanging in there. Good. Y'all need to? We're having an awesome time. Hello, good. Cool. You need something to drink or anything? Yeah. Allison's good. taking good care of y'all. She's taking great care of y'all. <laughs> 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 now we're going to do the butt. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 <laughs> we can't be in a YouTuber meet and greet and not meet the other YouTuber. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Somebody said, Oh my God. After the Antiques in the Garden event, Jason, Powell, and Shelly, Miss Gwen, and Arlie, who own Petals from the Past, they always have a party after the event for the employees, for the staff. 
and uh, feed them. And it's just always a good time for everybody just to get together after a big event like that and just chill out and talk about the stories of the day and just have a good time together. And last year and this year, they invited the YouTubers to join the dinner as well. And so we all got to get together with the Petals employees and just fellowship, have dinner together, talk about the day and just chill out so for a little bit. To have our Petals family here. And we're so excited to have you as YouTube, uh, 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 gosh, as YouTube people here. <laughs> and when Tracy came up with this idea a couple of years ago, we started talking about it. And last year, for those of you that participated, you remember it was a huge success. And what we saw was that carry on. And we appreciate it. Uh, Pat Collin that, that coordinates all of our special events. And I've talked about this and looked in. And what we've seen is bringing your addition into this event that we've been doing for many, many years has enriched it and it has helped us to grow. And we thank y'all so much for what you're doing and for what you're bringing to this event. And this crew over here uh, from Pels has worked so hard to get us in shape and get us ready for this event. Um, last year, they, we were able to do from cell phone pings, a friend of ours that, that, that had some uh, influence with Alabama Power was able to find out that we entertained 3,500 people on one day here with that with this event last year, wow. with you guys here. And we're not sure numbers yet today, but we do know that at 10 a.m., we filled this parking lot, we spilled over to the grader, and we went to the next farm down the nice. road. We are so excited about this event and what you guys are bringing to this uh, as well. And we appreciate everybody here. I want to thank everybody for your hard work this was a successful uh, event. Before we start, I'd love to say a, a blessing if you don't mind. Gracious and merciful Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to be together. We thank you for this opportunity for fellowship. And we thank you for a beautiful, safe, successful, productive day today. We just pray to be a very special blessing upon every family represented here. We pray you would open our eyes and our minds and our hearts to your God and Him. And we just pray you would bless this food for the nourishment of our bodies since the last service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. I also want to give a big shout out to Allison and Alan Adair for helping us at this event this year. Um, Allison has an Instagram channel called Handmade Homestead, and it's beautiful. It's all, she always has beautiful things posted on there. Jason and Brooke Smith from Cog Hill, they always have a lot of people show up to see them. And this year, Allison and Alan just kind of stood there. They took pictures of the fans with Jason and Brooke. And just was Jason and Brooke's personal people to be there for them and for anything that they needed and to just help all of the fans that were in line to see them. And Alan helped Gene and I out a lot. He took pictures of us with fans. And he just jumped in and helped wherever was needed. And we are just so grateful for them. I'm so thankful that Allison and I have become friends. So thank you guys so, so much. And I know you told me that Brooke has already signed you up to help with the fall event. So we're looking forward to seeing y'all then. So the fun didn't end for us on Saturday. Um, Perry Hill drove up from Lower Alabama to join us in this event and they spent the night with Lauren's mom who doesn't live too terribly far from us. So on their way home Sunday, they stopped by to visit with us. Look and who it was came something. to see us today. Perry Hill Farms. Oh, hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. The best but I mean they got the best butt in the South. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what can we say about our butts? You we know. had a good time yesterday, didn't we? We did. It was a blast. It was. We met so it many, awesome. so many of our new friends and mm -hmm. followers, and it was nice. It was nice. It worked out. Beautiful day. We all got to hang out together. We did. Yes. We did. Yeah. Absolutely. It was, fun. it was fun. Yep. So on their way home, they had to come by and see our farm. Y'all never been here before. Nope. Wow. Nope. And it was an inspiration. Yep. Good. Yeah, I love it. It's good. nice good. to have friends it. in low places. He's whopping me in the hand of that carrot. Blame it all on my roots. <laughs> I showed up in shoes. In carrots. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, and really, that's community. community. It is. It is community. And uh, you can learn so much from just hanging out with, yeah. with like-minded people. Mm -hmm. uh, their strengths can be educational to you and... 
Man, it was wonderful. Yeah. You taught us Good so much time. on herbs. Thank you so much. And yes. sending you home with some. Thank I you. know we're excited. Thank you yeah. So much. Good. Right. So generous. Good right. deal. Right. right. All right, you guys. I guess we're going to hit the road. Hit the road. And get back to LA. Lower Alabama. <laughs> That's right. Oh, lower Alabama. Okay. What do, hey, Levi. Mm -hmm. What's Papa always say? Simple life is a much more enjoyable life. There it is. A simple, simple life, life is a much more enjoyable life. That's I right. That's exactly right. We love you guys. Love, love you. you. Thank you so much for your hospitality. No. Appreciate you it. too, Jean. Leave out. Love That's you. All, right. all right. I just about got my window boxes planted here. This is my last one. And they're looking beautiful. The window boxes are done. So what I did was in the center one here, I've got those English dwarf boxwoods. Like I said, they're, they're, they're way out of proportion with everything else right now, but I'm just going to leave them because I want these to, you know, to fill out and get bigger. And I want this to be my, my evergreen that's going to be in my pot all the time. And then I can just seasonally change out these annuals. So I'm going to leave it, even though it does look funny. These two are sun patients and this is the lamiums on each end of this box and then in this box i've got the dichondra it's like waterfalls it just flows all the way down and it's just so so pretty it's got that silver foliage and that neat lit form leaf form don't mind my fingernails they're nasty um sun patience boxwood and on the ends of this box and the last box i've got ivy and this is I put this in there last year. I just cut it back real hard. And then this box is the same as that one, and it's the Dichondra Silver Falls and the Sun Patience, the Tiny Boxwood, more Ivy. These are gonna be beautiful. Well, guys, I'm out of time. I'm going to get these window boxes watered in, and then I've got to go run some errands. I've got to go get hay and feed and all those kind of things. My animals are out of everything, so I've got to go get those things. But I just wanted to plant some containers with you guys today and share our wonderful YouTubers meet and greet event with y'all. It was awesome. And I want to just give a big thank you to every one of you who came. Thank you to Petals from the Past for, for hosting us and having us there. I love everybody there at Petals. If you don't know, I used to work at Petals from the Past. I worked there for 12 years, and I love every one of them there. They are They will always be my family, and any opportunity that I get to hang out with them, I'm just blessed to be able to do it. So thank you, Jason and Shelly, Miss Gwen and Dr. Powell, and the whole Petals staff for hosting us and having us be a part of this event. And thank you to all of the YouTubers that came and made the day so wonderful. In the show notes of this video in the description will be links to all of the YouTubers that were there at the event. So you guys go check out their channels. They're all awesome, wonderful people. We just love all of them. And Jean and I love all of you. Thanks for hanging out with me today. God bless you. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Oh,